Welcome. Today's video, we're going to talk about the best of BoxyCharm for 2019. These are just some of my favorite products that we received last year in our standard base box, our premium box, and our luxe box, which if we're just talking about the standard base box alone, you get five full-size products times 12, that would be 60. So I've tried to condense it condense this down to as few as possible but some of my definite favorites and some of like holy mackerel that was a heck of a deal and all of that so anyways if you are new here hi welcome my name is Rhonda better known as hot mess mama md we're here we embrace the hot mess we pretty much run on nothing but caffeine and it's a judgment free zone so hopefully you decide to stick around subscribe and turn that notification bell on because I pretty much upload every single day at 12 15 eastern standard time and I'd love to have you as part of the family I also have a second channel hot miss mama vlogs where i talk a lot about my ketogenic journey low carb meals all of that so definitely check my description box down below if you'd like to be a part of our family over there as well anyways guys now that i've got that out of the way let's talk about some of my favorite holy mackerel products that we got in our 2019 boxy charm okay guys so as i always say the one thing i love about getting boxycharm or other subscriptions is the fact that there are so many brands out there constantly releasing that you just honestly can't afford every little thing that comes out but when you get a subscription box you not only get to learn about new brands out there but you get to try a bunch of several like a bunch of several uh, a lot of several wow I'm still not making sense. But not only do you get to try out certain brands, but you get to test out, try out new brands that are crazy expensive. And fortunately, because the subscription box is so much more affordable than like, let's take for example, the first item I'm gonna talk about. This is a $79 microdermabrasion exfoliating scrub, which I absolutely love, 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 love. And I will tell you guys, this is like I said, $79, but, it came in some of our subscription boxes last year. And I was so excited to the point that they also had it where if you have given out your referral link and somebody signed up, they got this and you got this. And I was crazy excited about it because thankfully you guys signed up, your girl got one, you guys got one. And this has been by far my favorite exfoliating scrub out there. And I would not have known about it had it not been in a subscription box with BoxyCharm. So very pleased with that. Okay, I did not pull a ton of the skincare products because there's a lot to go through. And I didn't think off the top of my head to save a lot of them. But the next one I wanted to talk about was one that I was crazy excited that we received. And that was the Tatcha Sheet Masks. Oh my gosh, I'll try and pop a picture up here. But... Tatcha is amazing. You guys know I talk about the dewy setting spray right here. You can use it as primer, what have you. It just has an amazing amount of like hydration to the skin and the sheet masks are no different. They are amazing. So when we received, I think it was like two, two or three of the Tatcha masks in the beginning of the year last year, it came at the perfect time and I love them. And I only buy them when they go on sale because they are expensive. But again, the boxes are $25. The masks alone are up there as well. So super, super excited to receive those in our box. So I think pretty much everything else I'll be talking about mostly is just makeup because I get so excited over makeup. And I actually did a video, and this was before we knew that they were coming out with these products and their very first premium box. And I did a video talking about some of the brands I would like to see in our subscriptions. One of them being Natasha Denona. So the very first premium box that came out by BoxyCharm, we got the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. And oh my gosh, you guys. At first, when I picked this up prior to it being in our boxy charm, when it first released, I got it and I did a review on it. And the top two shades up here are cream products. And it was before I got really comfortable with cream products. And it, this is a really dark 
see it's a dark shade and it was before how I learned how to really use and apply these products but I can tell you I love this palette I love the formula I typically take my little stippling brush it's a real technique simply brush I pop into the lighter shade up here then I go into the darker blush have it on today you can go really heavy with it and I use it a ton in the summertime but now I'm very fair and if, as long as you go really light-handed with it it's beautiful and I focus it really right through here where like the sun would kiss your cheeks and like the little bit of your nose kind of thing and I absolutely love this and this is like a what $50 palette or something crazy expensive and we got that in our premium box which the premium box is $35 by the way guys if you are interested in signing up with boxycharm I do have a referral link down below for you guys okay so this was another one that I was really excited to get because who doesn't love a good bronzer contour type of palette and I did get the clay play one and I don't know where I put it I know I may have given it to my mom because I did get this one and this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess and this is like I said the contour and the bronzer and I have actually these powders underneath my eyes kind of set the concealer because surprisingly enough I do have concealer and foundation on today and of course my Tatcha Pearl underneath my eyes but I just felt like going a little bit you know extra today typically I never wear foundation or concealer but I've been feeling it lately probably I think it's those masks that I showed you guys because it's not as you guys can see my neck's not all creepy I love how I get sidetracked hmm anyways but I was so excited to receive this because this is just a beautiful beautiful palette and you get like the different options of bronzers some have a little bit of shimmer to them but again they don't like accentuate things on the face sorry my entire family's home so there's gonna be a lot of noises guys a lot of noises but anyways really excited to receive this another palette that we received was the Too Faced natural face palette and I want to say this was this could have been in a standard box I want to say mine came in the luxe box but you guys when this palette came out I did pick up my own and I want to say it was like $54 but this is absolutely beautiful I've duped it and you guys have probably seen the video I did with is it a duper just a waste of money but to get this in whether it was a $49 box or a $35 box or one of our $25 box this is an amazing deal the formula is beautiful I have the highlight on today and again this goes like I talked about with this one it's always nice to get a bronzer or a contour and this palette is perfect because it gives you that it gives you the highlight the blush the contour all of that or the bronzer and again way to go boxycharm I mean boxycharm that's a subscription to to have guys I mean you can't go wrong with any of the boxycharm boxes I have to say okay moving right along this goes into learning about new companies out there that you may not have found on your own without the subscription and that would be Olimar Cosmetics. Now back in I think it was 2018 we got the first ever Olimar Cosmetics eyeshadow palette which was absolutely beautiful. I did a whole dedicated video using that eyeshadow palette. I need to go back. When I shop my collection I'm going to go back through and I'm going to do another look for you guys with that palette. But they came out with the three trio blushers and again I have this on today. Like I said the Natasha Denona bloom palette I used the two cream shades and then once I set my makeup and everything I came back in with these two shades right here I think this palette is wonderful and I love Olimar cosmetics and they came in with different I believe there was like a another palette that was a little bit lighter this is the medium to tan works perfect for me whether I'm in the winter time summertime what have you and again really excited about that okay are you guys ready for this I'm just gonna talk about both of them at the same time so I don't keep you guys too long because I'm already nine and a half minutes in storybook cosmetics this was in our December boxes oh my goodness guys you guys knew I was obsessed with this one this one is the Robin Hood palette and these greens oh my gosh and again this palette alone retail value is $35 we got it in our $25 base box 
So again, the formula is amazing and the quality is there. And then was it, I want to say it was our premium. Maybe it was our Luxe, our Lux box. I can't recall. But then we got this one, which, oh, again, I did a whole try on using these colors. The mirror is amazing. The shadow is amazing. This one is the Little Briar Rose palette. And again, I mean, this had a retail value, I think, of 50 some dollars and just can't beat it. Okay. This was one that I always wanted to try, but it was pretty expensive. And I actually, I think it was like Manny MUA was talking a lot about this brand and this particular item. Early was, I don't know when this released. It may have been 2018, but I think this was like early in the year of 2019. Iconic London came out with this sculpt, sculpt and boost eyeshadow cushion. And this, you guys, this came in, I think our first Luxie box. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this scared me to the point that I wouldn't even touch it <laughs> right away. And then I finally was like, girl, get outside your comfort zone, start using these products. And I actually really like this. It came in the shade medium. I actually went and purchased it in fair and I'll use both of them. I go through phases where I'm all about the eyeshadow pencils. I'm all about the pomades, but this is something different and it's pretty cool. It's almost like an ink to the brows and you guys know I don't have a very strong brow game but this is stupid expensive I want to say it's like $40 and to get that in our Luxie box Boxy Lux had me so excited so anyways I was excited to get to try that out and it goes right back to what I said before you pay $25, $35, $49 and then you get an amazing amount of products to be testing out speaking with eyebrows I was really excited about this one. This is the Billion Dollar Brow. This was the micro pencil doohickey. It has like three little things and, ooh, whoops. It's not dried up all the way, but you get to like fling the eyebrows like right through here and it looks like natural little hair strokes. This was one that I was really excited about and I told you guys, even once it dried up, I was just jumping right into here with it and then it kind of helped me get those little brows up at the front that I always struggle to get. So anyways, super excited about that. Moving on to some more iconic London. This was the setting spray. And if you shake it up a little bit, you guys can see, I have this on today. This gives you like this beautiful dewy luminous or luminosity to the skin, which you guys know because I use retinol, especially a lot in the winter time. I do get, you know, I have normal, now somewhat dry skin combo skin and this just gives a beautiful dewy radiance but again crazy expensive so i very much welcome this kind of stuff in my subscription box okay so this was another one i mean all this stuff obviously i was really excited about this is the becca hydra mist powder now this is one where you have to kind of get used to it because it's a little weird at first like for sure you i like to apply it with like my beauty blender and go in i can tell you guys it does dry up but i still use it even though it doesn't have that cooling misty like water feel to it and it still works fine it works really really good underneath the eyes i will tell you guys if you have mature skin at least for me anyways if you have mature skin and you want to set your concealer or your tatcha pearl underneath your eyes it's really nice to go in with like my beauty sponge which this is just dry shop masse one and i just kind of press it right underneath and like i said it doesn't any longer have the cooling mist effect to it but it still sets and it's very smoothing and i love it and i know that alta ended up having it like the 21 days of beauty and i stocked up okay does the colors lipsticks this got me outside my comfort zone Whew, like something else and it was i i don't know where the little doodad is but i don't know i think this one is available at dose of colors it may even be available at ulta but this shade you guys every time i use this in the summertime you guys complimented me so much and you guys know i am all about the most nude basic is there even lipstick on your lips kind of girl and it's really pretty to the point that even my husband enjoyed this shade he was like i actually like that and he's like me he's not about those bold vibrant shades but love that and again dose of colors 
great formula. This is what like one of the items that got me into testing more and more of particular brands. Love this. And the other shade we got, this is a nude mood and very basic neutral shade. So it was perfect for me, but this was curated, I believe strictly for boxy charm. So I don't know if you could find this shade at Ulta or on Dosa Colors website, but again, love to get those in our box. Then let's talk about another eyeshadow palette that I was so excited about. This is the Celestial Thunder palette. This is by Dominique Cosmetics and I loved, loved, loved it. I did a whole dedicated video showing you guys a couple different looks with this palette. I don't have her full size one, but I have some of her other palettes and I absolutely love her formula. So I definitely welcomed this into my collection. I mean, is that not gorgeous? That's the nice thing. You get a variety of different type of makeup products with BoxyCharm. Okay, the last two items I'm gonna talk about, and again, this is Olimar Cosmetics and Dominique Cosmetics, and this Lemonade Lip Gloss, What it's in peach tea. It smells heavenly. So I have this on and I have it mixed with my Olimar Cosmetics. This one is Mother of Pearl Gloss. And of course I've got my Sugar and Spice Drought Cosmetics lip liner on here. But these were some of my favorite lip glosses that we got in our BoxyCharm. So anyways guys, that is just a few of the items that we got in 2019 for BoxyCharm. I can't wait to see what is in store for 2020. And I heard, I heard that um, Hourglass is gonna be uh, popping into our subscription. So that has me all kinds of excited because you know your girl loves her hourglass. So anyways guys, that's gonna be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it enough to give me a big thumbs up. Feel free to share this over on Facebook and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you, like I said, as part of our family over here. I do upload every single day pretty much at 12.15 Eastern Standard Time. Still trying to tweak and figure out what time to upload over on my second channel. But don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. And until next time, as always, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. By the way, tell me some of your favorites from 2019 that you got in your BoxyCharm. Okay, guys. Until next time. Kisses from Kentucky. Mwah. Bye.